anyone who spends a considerable amount of time in their van will tell you the biggest challenge is staying cool in hot weather this right here is advertised as the cheapest 12 volt AC on the market $39.95 this is Cooler Air's revised product I tested their original product about seven years ago I'm testing out their revised product their original product only worked with one type of cooler you have to cut this and make it fit to the cooler of your choice so this is a small igloo $16 cooler $40 portable AC so will $60 create a portable AC that works we're gonna find out right now here it is the best-selling 12 volt portable AC in the world $39.95 plus cooler of your choice and you have to cut it yourself so I gotta get some ice see if this works will this be epic will this hold drinks and keep you cool here's my power station right here let's go ahead and turn it on real quick six watts so my power station will be able to run this for 43 hours if I choose I could feel the air so let's get some ice this is a neat concept and I really want it to work if I turn the elbow here there's a power cord it all fits within the cooler so hopefully it works this is where I slept last night if you're a regular on my channel this is my once a month road trip sleeping in my van I'm by pilot right now so I'll go ahead and pick up some ice for this it is 97 degrees outside 99 in the van so we'll test this out see how it works with ice two bags of ice right here and there's my arm it's really hot outside so I'm sweating let's go ahead and put this on Okay, that's on there. It's uh, 97 degrees outside, 102 in the van. Here's my entertainment, Turbo Graphics Mini. So I'm gonna close up the van. Okay, van's closed. I'm gonna turn this on right now. okay that's on and to make it fair I'm gonna wipe my arm off so I'm not so let's see if this will stop me from sweating that's the best way to test this thing okay. there I'm dry now there wipe my arm off the time is 1140 I'll check back in a few let you guys know how this is working out. You could feel the air coming out of it. It's nice, actually. So it's kind of a small opening right here. That's it. That's your only vent. So, let's see if it works. 11.44. I'm only a couple of minutes in. And there you go. I'm already sweating so it is cold it does feel like an air conditioner but the thing is it's only concentrated to about right here so what is that four or five inches that it comes out that's it 
and it doesn't have a wide radius or anything it's just this little cup right here where my hand is that's it that's where the coldness is so I mean it's doing something I guess if you sleep like right next to it if you lay down right next to it like this but you need ice because without the ice it's just circulating the hot air in your vehicle so there you go that test didn't take very long only a couple of minutes now I have a bunch of ice right now what am I gonna do with it there a bunch of ice right now so let's go ahead and open the door here See, that works a lot better just having the door wide open but yeah the whole point of this is you want to sleep in your van or your RV or possibly have something because the AC in your car is broken so yeah opening a door wide open helped a lot more like I said it's that's it that's where the cold is right where my hand is this little area right here I don't even think I could use this maybe if I bring cold drinks with me I could use this as like backup here's the thing and here's the reason why I wanted to do this video it's my cooling unit videos that really made my YouTube channel grow so I figure I would uh, try one of these out because I tried out the um, their initial model then this is the revised product where you have to trim it and it has a stronger fan and everything so I figure I'll give this company another chance since their first product didn't work I don't have any sponsors I don't get sent anything so all this is on my coin but I know how you, I know how it is you guys wonder what actually works and here's the truth about cooling units it costs money to stay cold or to keep cool it's easier like when the weather's cold it's easier to get hot you just need a propane heater that's what I use I use a mister buddy propane heater when it's cold but in the summer months like this something like this it's enticing that's why it's the number one best-selling portable AC in the world it's thirty nine ninety five so people are gonna tell themselves you know what that's not if it doesn't work it's only thirty nine ninety five and I think that's why this company is still around to this day because their units really cheap they got a good advertising campaign but that's the truth of it all it costs money to keep cool so thirty nine ninety five plus a cooler plus five dollars worth of ice it's not gonna work it only took me a couple of minutes to figure this out there you go it does blow cold air like a real AC 44 Fahrenheit 5.8 Celsius but like I said the problem is this little area right here is as far as it goes out For less than ten dollars I picked up this electric fan let's see how this works compared to the cooler air so we'll do this we'll do the same thing it is 11:53. so let me go ahead and let's see if this stops me from sweating all right there you go so let me wipe my arm off here. I think I invented this. Invented the this way of testing. I mean, that paints a picture, right? Okay. I'm good. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Full power. Alright, so let's see if this stops me from sweating versus this thing right here uh, let me go ahead and wipe off my other arm hold on see I'm sitting in a van 
That's hot for review purposes. Okay, there you go. Let's see how this works. Full power. Within a couple of minutes of using the cooler air, my arms were all sweaty with a $10 electric fan. I'm not sweaty. So I got this thing as a complimentary piece to my other space coolers. I should have got a $10 electric fan a long time ago. It's not blowing out cold air, it's just circulating the hot air. 42 Celsius, 107 Fahrenheit, but it is adding air circulation to the van, so I'm going to have it supplement my other space coolers. So get yourself a fan. It's better than a cooler air.